The fictional California town of Santa Mira has been a reoccurring easter egg across many a science fiction, horror and thriller story ever since the 1959 classic Invasion of the Body Snatchers. In most incarnations of the town, some outside force inevitably takes over, either consuming or at least replicating the likenesses of the local population. All this was something I learned following research into a book from the background of the very first MLP Friendship is Magic comic, a book titled Incident at Santa Mira. Naturally, I couldn't help but wonder what strange fate may have befallen the equestrian version of this town. A changeling invasion? Or something a little bit stranger? Long story short, since last year's art contest went pretty well, I thought it'd be fun to organise a similar one this year, this time focusing on the Santa Mira incident. This year's contest actually ended in a draw between the two submissions we received. Our first submission comes from good friend of the channel, Buttery Biscuit. Their accompanying retelling reads, I did a different kind of invasion. An invasion I know too well. Doors are blocked, people are attacked, entire floor levels abandoned. Philly geese. My college actively changed what door folk came in, and there were signs. And they would legit chase you blocks if you looked at them wrong. And this is every spring too, and once they lay their eggs, they just get more aggressive. An entire floor to a place was closed off due to a goose. Those things, they come for you. Funny story, this submission was originally a joke referencing the Santa Maria incident rather than the Santa Mira incident, due to a simple misunderstanding. This was later adapted into the final submission. Our next one comes from Taz or Oakham on YouTube. The retelling reads, Horse visits abandoned town, explores, finds it's infested. Yeah, another misunderstanding. The description was more there as a self-reminder, but when they gave it to me, I assumed that was a written retelling. By the time we figured out the misperception, it was a little bit too late. This one's actually multiple images, also doing something somewhat similar to Toast from last year, basically incorporating their OC as the main antagonist. Taz's OC of the same name is a tiny bat pony with a bizarre host of abilities, many of which would probably get Smile involved. The one that is most relevant is the ability to self-duplicate simply by eating mangoes. What we see in their depiction of Santa Mira is an infestation of Taz duplicates. To be clear, this submission does include multiple commission depictions of said character from other artists not directly involved, namely Rainbow Tashi, It's Sugar Morning, and Xavier. A big thank you to everyone who entered. I still think the concept of Santa Mira set in Equestria has a lot more potential when it comes to telling a scary story. I even had a go myself at writing down something inspired by the concept, which I might explore further in the future. Regardless, a special thank you to Buttery Biscuit and the eldritch abomination I know as Taz, her own words, for participating. If anything, I think Taz's submission came closest to replicating the idea of something unusual taking over, though that was somewhat reliant on familiarity with the character. Oh, before I go, I've no idea how this is going to sound in the final video, but I'm actually recording the audio for this using my camera. Reason for this is my trusty old microphone recently gave up the ghost, and I don't yet have a replacement. Hopefully it doesn't sound too off. Anyway, best of luck, and happy nightmare night.